this Sunday as we begin the, the week of Thanksgiving. Now here at Faith United Methodist Church, this Sunday is a little different than the other Sundays um, where we gather together as a church family. It's our tradition that the Sunday before Thanksgiving, we have time to open up the floor that if anybody would like to share just a, a Thanksgiving of praise, um, a testimony of Thanksgiving, uh, that you, uh, you will be able to do that this morning. So if you have something you just want to give God thanks for, we're going to invite you to do that. And really it fits in well with the, with the sermon series we've been having. Uh, we've been looking at the biblical concept of, of uh, stewardship, specifically five principles of biblical stewardship. Now we've already looked at three of them, and I'm just going to give you a quick quiz this morning. Now I must say, first service did a terrible job. So hope, hopefully you can do a, a little better. Um, I want to see if you can remember the first three principles of biblical stewardship. We'll, we'll just see. Uh, the, the first, what's the first principle of biblical stewardship? The principle of? Oh, oh, it's the easiest one. The principle of ownership. The principle of ownership. God owns it all. Okay, come on. The second principle is the principle of responsibility. Thank you. God owns it all. That means we are stewards. We're caretakers of everything given to us by God. And so it is our responsibility to look after that which God has entrusted to us. And so the third principle of stewardship is the principle of accountability. accountability. Thank you, youth. Yay! Accountability. God will hold us accountable for that which we are responsible for. Now this morning is the principle of gratitude. So the, the fourth one, the principle of gratitude. Because God owns it all, because God has given all of this stuff to us um, to take care of, we should be thankful. We should have hearts of gratitude for everything entrusted to us which is this beautiful world. I mean, what an amazing world this God has given to us. I mean, you may not like the snow, but you got to admit, it was, it was pretty beautiful this morning, right? I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, God has given us this wonderful world to appreciate. God's given us our family. God's given us our friends. God's given us our gifts, our talents, our finances. God has given us redemption through his son, Jesus Christ. God's given us that peace that passes all understanding. God has given us healing. God's given us all of these things, and so we should be thankful. We should have hearts of gratitude. And so the fourth principle of stewardship is the principle of gratitude. And rather than me preaching about it today, we are going to live it out. And so here in just a moment, we'll give you the opportunity just to lift up a praise, just to lift up a thanksgiving, of how God's been working in your life. But before we do, I just want to read to you uh, this passage of Scripture from the Gospel of Luke, just to kind of put our hearts in, in the right place as we begin this. This is from Luke chapter 17. I want to begin with verse number 11. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. And so we come today to praise God, to be the one who went back to Jesus to give thanks. Would you please pray with me? Most gracious God, we do thank you for this opportunity to bring to you our thanks and praise. But God, we know that, that you own it all. You have created it all. And that we are just stewards of your love and grace. We are your children, the beneficiaries of, of everything that you've created. 
And we just come today to give you thanks. Thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, with all that we are, we come to say thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now here in just a moment, if you would just like to, to share a, a praise or thanksgiving, we'll have you raise your hand. If you're able to stand, uh, we invite you to stand. Um, just introduce yourself um, so we all, all know your name and, and, and you can give your, your thanksgiving. Now, I, I just, I'll start, um, you know, I am so thankful for all of the people who give of their gifts and talents to Faith United Methodist Church. And I can't even begin to, to list all of those people. I know in, in first service, uh, like John Bachman, I mentioned Cindy Watson. Cindy was our liturgist this morning for first service. Now, yesterday she took a bus trip to Chicago. They got sideswiped in Chicago. Had to have another bus come and pick them up to bring them home. She didn't get back home until 3 a.m. this morning that she was in first service to be our liturgist. You know, John Bachman, who talked about um, Guatemala, uh, John and his wife Patty are here every Sunday morning. They typically come to first service, but then they stay. Because in second service, they help out with breakout. They help out with our, with our kids. And so every Sunday, they worship in first service, stay so that they can give of their gifts and talents, so they can sacrifice, so they can be a part of that group that works with our kids. And again, we've got numerous people who sacrifice, who give of their gifts and talents for, for the kingdom of God. And I'm just so grateful because truly we are the, the hands and the feet of Christ. And it takes all of us working together to do that which God has called us. So I'm just so thankful for all those people who give of their gifts and talents. So if you have a, um, if you have a, a Thanksgiving, if you have a praise, if you just want to raise your hand, one of our ushers will bring you a microphone. Start with Dewey. My, my name is Dewey Hess. I'm not sure how you say these things. Uh, in case you're curious, I'm 78 years old. And about 10 days ago, I had the whole bladder attack. And I was on the way to the emergency room. How bad are these people going to hurt me? Because <laughs> I'm already hurting, and I, I don't need them to add to it. But they were very good to me. And there are two things that I'm thankful for. The healing power. Right, the doctor said I'm healing very well. Secondly, the number of folks from here who called and wanted to come. I'll be old man doing. <laughs> I lost track of how many there were of you, and I wouldn't call you all out by name. But I do say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Gail. I'm not sure we got you on the green microphone. Is it on? Is it? Try again. <laughs> it's on mute. I can see it. All right. I'm Cecil Dixon, and I just want to praise the people in this congregation. The outpouring of love. card. It says, I said a prayer for you today. Our Father, thank you for hearing our prayers. For those who are hurting today, in Jesus' name, we ask you to be with them in powerful ways. Amen. Amen. I think that's just bad happening. Praise you. Amen.
I work over the weekend, come over here for the college, go to support the top one, especially if we're walking into the church or the stuff. There is never a dull moment when I come to church. And no matter how like bad my weekend has gone, I come in with a smile on my face every day, like every time. This church helps me get through the week. I look forward to coming here playing on Sunday. I just want to thank God for everything he's given me, family, my amazing girlfriend, this church most of all. Without you guys, I I don't know where I'd be at. My name is Norma Albert, my husband Terry. Um, in February, we lost our home to the flood. July, we our house was broken alive. Um, but through the grace of God, history we got to the home. I'm Irene Wiesner, and thinking this week, I want to thank God for the wonderful pastors that we have, all three of them, Pastor John, Pastor Sarah, and Pastor Chuck. But I also want to thank him for the wonderful help that I experience, and I am so thankful for it, and thankful for all of you.
always say every year, why do you have to talk? Why do I? But I guess that's what I get. Gilsey gave me one for her father. <laughs> but there is so much in this church, so many prayer warriors, the small groups, the Bible study. If you're not in a small group, just like this man, get in one. Get to know the people. This is your faith family, and they'll stand by you. They're there to help you, to pray with you, anything. This, I, I love this church. They have been my giving for me to be able to reach out to other people. Because sometimes when you're by yourself, you're a little lonely, you get a little grouchy. But you come here and you meet these people and they love you, they give you hugs. <sighs> it's something to take home. And I thank you for our pastors, the sermons that we get that seem to kick us in the butt once in a while, huh? <laughs> so I didn't think you were going to clap at that one. <laughs> sermons. Anybody else? Good morning, Tim Lockhart, and I equally am thankful for our small group ministry, not just for Karen and my opportunity to facilitate the group that we share with uh, eight of us, but also there's a men's group that I meet with on Monday nights, mm. and we don't do a Bible study, we just have fellowship at Michael's Restaurant, and I tell you, the six to nine guys that are there every week really have a blessed time sharing from everything from hunting to their veteran experiences to just daily struggles at work or whatever. But I'm thankful for these ministries that have happened. And uh, equally, I'm thankful for my wife of 44 years, my four children, and 12 grandchildren, which wow. three are sitting here, the others are up in breakouts. So it's a, it's a fun time. And uh, they keep us active, so. Thank you for your love as a church family and for everything you do for us as a family. Oh, and the... Yeah, you can't see us because of the light. Uh, my name is Mike DeHayes. I would just like to uh, express uh, thanks for all of our volunteers uh, throughout the church, but especially in the uh, technical department and... Um, these guys do a lot of work, and lately we've been experiencing some growth in our volunteer staff, and I just want to appreciate them. And uh, Mark Coleman, thank you for all your service. I'm thankful for Mark and all he does and all he has done for us. And I would also like to express my thanks to my sister, um, who, <laughs> excuse me, Her name is Polly. She dropped what she was doing in Cleveland to come in here and help out taking care of my mom. I love you, sis. Thank you.
the ladies who, who do the funeral dinners do an absolutely great job, and it's just, it is a, a neat ministry, very much so. Anybody? Last year? Well, let me pray for you. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving God, I just thank you for each and every person um, who spoke this morning. I thank you for each and every person here who may not have spoke, but I know that on their hearts, they just have a heart of gratitude today for everything that you have done for them. But God, I just pray for those who are struggling today. I just pray for your Holy Spirit to settle upon them. I just pray that you will work in their lives, that, uh, that truly they can, they can see that, uh, that sun, that, uh, that, that bright and morning star that is our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. But God, we just come to you today, from, just from the bottom of our hearts, from, from all that we are, we just come to give you thanks. We just thank you for the many blessings in our lives. We thank you for walking alongside us when we go through those valleys. We thank you that you were there on the mountaintops to show us your grace and your love. We thank you for our church, for our place in your kingdom, that we are your children. We come this morning just to say thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you're able, would you please stand with me as we join together in our closing song?